After solving many cases of the Golden Idol, we are finally reunited as three! Well, four if you count my cat! I'm Sean Plot, <laughs> And I'm Lee Grainer. And I'm Sean Bouchard. Welcome to a one-shot episode of Mostly Walking. Normally, if you've seen yes. this show before, you know that what we do is pick a game that can be completed in one day, and we spread it out over the course of eight to 12 weeks. Well, today we're going to do <laughs> something different, which is we're going to be playing through Evo Land, which is yeah. a really brilliant... I don't want to call it an educational game. It is a game. It is a history game. It is an interactive yeah. history game that I've always wanted to show Lee and Sean. I'm finally going to take the uh the dive in today oh. but first yes i've shaved my head beautiful. secondly uh, you were traveling you were lounging you've yeah. been gone for a little bit how have you been good good uh i was incredibly tired and now i'm not anymore and i was just telling you before that it turns out that rest does in fact have a recuperative yeah. powers um, incredible yeah i, I so i'm I, feeling huge yeah. if true <laughs> Huge if true. Huge. There's there's a quote that sticks with me a lot whenever I'm like, well, I could always just stay up a little late and then get up a little early. I could always do that. Which is that sleep is the most powerful performance enhancing drug there is. Ooh. That is so masculine. Yeah. I love that. <laughs> it really is. That true. is like that's, that's like I feel like that true. is gonna be on on that's gonna be a promoted promoted uh zeet on X, and it'll be like a guy in a suit. It'll be like a guy in a suit in like Bolivia, and his name will be something like Rise of the Kings or something. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No. And 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 his actual name will be Peck Hardly, and then he'll just he'll, he'll just plug how 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 much of a powerful performance enhancing drug sleep is while pounding a protein yeah. shake. It's it's Dirk so good. Dirk Strongstrom. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Big McLarge huge. <laughs> Um, <laughs> yeah, no, I my hair. I can feel. I look. I know this isn't true, but it feels like I can feel with my hair today. So I'm gonna put it back. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sometimes, anyway. sometimes the mind's ability to perform, as Scott McCloud calls, closure, can be a little too much. That's when you got to put your hair up. You wrote an entire book. Yeah, about putting the hair up. It's in a chapter called yeah. in the Gutter." Um, what? Sean, Wait, how have what? you been? Okay, <laughs> this is uh, right. That's good. Me so joke. we're we're. <laughs> Right. Scott McCloud jokes. Um, so we are uh, we're in the final stretch of the fall or uh, uh, spring semester. Uh, what season is it? I don't know. Yeah. Um, and uh, so I got two weeks of class left, uh, and, oh, then, and then yeah. uh, and then the um, the the big show, the uh, USC Games Expo, oh, twenty twenty four, the big happens show. May seventh. Uh, on USC's campus, uh, if you're in LA, come play student games. It's going to be a ton of fun. We're going to have food and yeah. stuff. And I'm, yeah. I'm figuring out all the stuff that we're going to have. And it's, you better you better plan parking in advance. Otherwise, best of that's, luck. To yeah, you. that's probably true. Oh no! Wait, when is that? May when 7th. is that? May seventh. It is a Tuesday. It is a Tuesday. Oh, that's hmm. coming right up there. Yeah, it is. Come on down, okay. Lee. Let's hang out. I got the chance to I see could. Lee at GDC, which was great for you and me. Yeah, I oh, could yeah. come down there, and that's what's terrifying. I'm, I'm look. I'm gonna put on my calendar. Think about that. Think about that. Fuck yes. Do think about it. Think about it. Oh, but I'm not gonna think uh, about it right now. There are gonna be a bunch of really cool games. That much I know. Mm -hmm. That's good. Yeah. Dude. All right. Are they are... gonna be in Godot? Are they gonna be in Godot? Uh, Godot is the new unity. I don't know. We might have one. I would have to actually look at a list. I'm not sure. All right, so I, I need Got to it. plug in my Goal, dude. my controller here because we're about to hop into Evo land. Um, and Ooh. we're not, we're not going to play this all the way through. It's a really, really, really clever little game. I don't actually know if it uses controller, but I know that it the gameplay is similar to what you'd expect from a controller game. No, I don't even think this is controller compliant. All right, great. Perfect. Wow, well, you gotta, you're got you going to have to keyboard this one like, a, like you're on a fucking congregate or something. All right. Let me just make sure that... No, it is controller. All right, so, so this is the game. This is the game. I've unlocked this is the, game. the right key. It's, 
So you see? Still, okay. Still oh, you got right key. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got right key. Got the left key. Always going right is boring. Say that to Mary. This took a long time. Yeah, this took a long time. Yeah, no, I remember I mean, when left key was invented. All right, two D movement. And you'll see Passage. that it's, it's on a grid. Yeah. Oh yeah. Got basic. I mean, it's scroll. not only like there's yeah, yeah 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 like the pixel grid is sort of yeah. drawn out. It's like, That's it's fascinating. It's sort of Game Boy. -y. It's a Game Boy style pixel. It grid. is kind of Game Boy. -y. Yeah. It's definitely not a uh, CRT. <laughs> All right, hold on, get ready. Oh. I'm ready. Sound effects. Woo! Ooh. Oh, that's so good. Yeah. Civics. What a charming game. Civics. What a yeah. what a what a gem. What now, a treasure. Now what as, a treasure. As, as I'm as I am speaking with my interactive media professor, Sean Bouchard, and my interactive media and games veteran pal Lee Grainer. I Master know of the fine arts. Oh please. yes, indeed. We're all mfas. Um the more monsters. The, the this game is ripe with opportunity to go and you know a little bit about the history of games and how they function. <laughs> yeah. yeah, look look, we we have smoother scrolling. Look at this. Oh wait, smoother scrolling. I, I can't remember how it was a minute ago. Yeah, That's I can't either. Was it screen based? It, I think it was, it was screen based. Screen based as our old adventure oh, games are. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah. Um and so now we have just a, a, a camera fixed to the character. Nice. Alright. Oh, oh shit! Shiz. Now right. we can finally do violence in video games. This is when violence finally, is finally, I can feel it not doing anything to me as a child. <laughs> oh, you <laughs> are to rock to them. Absolutely clocked. <laughs> oh, damn. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, you're legending my Zeldas right now. I'm you fucking that, into right? it. This is a good track. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like. I will say, everything this game does, I was just like, oh, that's perfect. That's the perfect version yeah. of that. No, it's it's well thought out. It's well well put together. Oh, this feels so fucking, um, you know, like going into the desert just makes me think uh, Adventure of Link. Mm. Yeah. Advent oh, God, Adventure of oh, Link. So God. Weird. It's a weird So one. weird. So good. Such yeah. a weird game. So insane. Yeah, star. Yeah. A goal now. Remember, remember when stars? Wait, you got the card. <laughs> Wait, <bat>. what? <laughs> I so remember my is... first card bat. <laughs> so this, this, this is the one thing that I think is a little bit um, of a misstep in these early levels. Okay. There's secrets, and like, it's very mechanically focused. Right? You've earned move right. You've earned move left. You've earned sound effect, yeah. and so on. Yeah. And I think that that plays really well. But the instant you find some secrets and they don't quite have the context to them, it's a little yeah. yeah. But you know, whatever. It feel it feels different. So, um, yeah. When do you unlock uh, microtransactions? <laughs> and, uh, immediately. And season, season subscriptions. Well, if you if season you pass. if you have an MBA, that's actually the first thing you unlock. Uh, yeah. Oh yeah, that makes sense. One thing I like to do as an MBA when I have a hobby is be like. How can I extract from this? How can I, <laughs> if I were to, if I were to land some sort of mosquito onto it, what would that mosquito be sucking out of it? Yeah, what, what goes into the proboscis of this game? All right, so yeah. I, I, I sort of backtracked a little bit, but I'm going to keep on going because my, my curiosity led me down in that direction. Yeah. Did you do you, uh, do you think that you have gotten all of the available chests? Oh, I, I believe I have. You. Look at this. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. 16 color. Is 16 color 8 bit or is that different? It's different, right? It's uh, not exactly the same. I mean, it's more than 16 colors, right? I, I mean, I think 8 bit is 16 color. Because you have you have two. Yeah, because no, it no, would that's be. Wrong. Um... That's, that's completely wrong. That's. that's it should be 2 to the 8. I have yeah. no idea. No, because I think that depending on what they used. Um, 8 bit should be 256. 2 to the 8th, which is 256. But sometimes, even though they were using 8 Why? bit, they did other things with those bits. Or you yeah, would compress they... three yeah. color channels into a single byte. Mm -hmm. 
Sure, or you could reroute your. You could also reroute the polarity so that you could squeeze an extra couple bits out of the back end. Uh, yeah, <laughs> you store the store the the colors in the Jeffries tubes. And... Yeah, and then you can. Yeah. Hold and on. Sometimes if you yeah if you. Oh. oh that's so crazy. But yeah, some also the bones got in the way sometimes. If some of the games had really thick bones. Oh, a title oh. screen. Ooh, this is not oh, an eight-bit title screen. Yeah. After centuries of peace, an ancient evil has finally resurfaced to threaten the world of Evolandia. You are one of the few remaining members of the Order of the Dragon Knights, whose purpose it is to travel the world to help the needy and fight evil. Those centuries of peace clearly mean you haven't had a whole lot through recently, but it looks like business is picking up again. Brought to you by my favorite font, Default. Oh, yeah. Arial AF. A or Ariel AF. Ariel, Ariel. All right, Ariel. Getting some. You got a star, stars. Sean. Collect all the stars. There's, there's, a, and a, there's a number of them. I was recently informed that I gotta catch, gotta catch them all. <laughs> yeah, you gotta <coughs> catch them all for sure. Now, I, I, I do remember playing this game and getting <laughs> lost. Like I couldn't figure out how to progress, and like I got real red cheeked about it. It was tough. I is, do feel hmm. like having stars come in at an appropriate time in the sort of simulated history yeah would have would have been a better thing yeah Ooh, 256 okay now we're now we're cooking now we're cooking yeah hey, hold on. Uh, I'm, I'm a little i'm a little sad that that our four <laughs> color display didn't look like uh wasn't green purple white and black you know or or alternately blue oh. orange white black yeah blue, right, hold on. orange white black yeah that that was that was one of the other uh schemes you could you could end up with hmm. blocked by the dimensional oh, stone fr That's free movement oh whoa Wow, the uh, we need some easing on the camera because yeah, we definitely very bad. You right like now, this? Too. You love this? I mean, <laughs> yeah. Ugh. Could you please Thanks. unlock some uh, kiting <laughs> of the camera or whatever they call it? Could you please put the camera onto a um, a spring joint? Yeah. <laughs> oh, so oh wait, wait. I think Don't put the camera on a spring joint. <laughs> I think I know the solution to this little puzzle. <laughs> See, yeah. I, I can walk through. Oh, no, okay, because you're not on a grid anymore. Yeah. Oh, that's a tough one. That is oh, my tough God, one. it's an Armos. It is an Armos. Oh, it's the classic villain that when it faces you. Yeah. It's shield. Classic. That is a non-copyrighted so infringing Armos right there. <laughs> oh, I got an inventory. Dude. Oh shit! Oh sword. Because what I what I adore about this is it really shows how many individual things come together to make a game. Yes, yeah, it is. It does. Oh, <sighs> I'm having the mostly walking problem where when I look toward the screen, I'm looking the other way. Damn. Okay. Dude, this is some overworld stuff. So you look very big. Oh, yeah. Nice. Wait, you unlocked. Oh, just, this is a. This is, <laughs> oh, now this is a. Final Fantasy. Emok. Yeah. Now, this is a lateral move, though. Yeah, 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 yeah. Meow, meow. 50 Gliss. 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 Dude, it's so nice. I desperately want a tiny little character in Adventure of Link style. Yeah. Ugh. But was he really, really quite small in that? He was, yeah, he was, and, and much lower resolution than mm. regular. Maybe we'll get the higher resolution <laughs> soon, you know? Yeah. And uh, th I, that game had a whole mechanic where, like, as long as you were on a path, uh, monsters. Oh, God. Oh, 
Now mode this is seven, Final Fantasy. Jesus. Six. Dude, well, dude, yeah, no, this, this is, this is iconic, man. It is. Yeah. Give me, give me a Kokobu. Give me a Chocobo. Ow. We always call them Kokobus, and I think that's actually very good. Dude, well, because, I mean, in the same way that no one knew the solutions to games when they were kids, because there was, like, no internet to really, like, look at, like, communities just had to, like, figure it out. Also, no one knew sure. how to fucking pronounce anything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Just, yeah, it's just yeah, whatever yeah, you decide yeah. to say with your with your mouth holes. Is how that's gonna that's gonna turn out for you. Place's name. Places, everyone. Oh, oh you need Speed more run challenge. Tactics. Yeah, no, that's I can't help but be challenged. Okay, but now we are like back to swinging our swords. Yeah. Oh. So this has got me all sorts of jized. Well, we're not in the overworld anymore. Oh, okay. There's, sure. there's a distinction between overworld and and underworld. I don't know. Underworld. That guy is giant. He's very large. He's very We're large. We're so small. To you, a, a child. How do we unlock zoom out? Oh, look at this. Look at this a robust mere, mere stranger. Child. What are you doing here? Children should go to bed. Jesus. Oh, are we gonna get? We're gonna unlock like adulthood. Unlock, oh my god! Yeah, the evil unlock, Kafka's I, I don't puberty. Mm, mm, unlock I don't know puberty. If I'm crazy about that. So, so Kafka was the boss in, um, or the main villain in Final yeah. Fantasy VI. Is that right? He's, yeah. He's a pretty cool guy. I think I'm gonna flip myself. You wanna see? Are there gonna be any any Willow references? Doink! I flipped myself. Holy, you're looking you great from that you're side flipped. too. Yeah. <laughs> Look at our character's face. I know, that's <laughs> Look at that guy. This he looks I like mean, a YouTuber. I, I do feel like there are some Willow vibes to this village. I don't like it. I don't like me being flipped. I'm going back. Oh, we got that into her house. Weird. Let's go. That really felt like I was in like kind of a different. Um, I don't like flipped camera. It's really it's really awkward. Like yeah, the wrong side no, of the same. bed. Like, yeah, it's like, strange. It's like you're okay. in a different kind of a different world there for a minute. There's an interesting sort of like mixture of exploring the history of adventure RPGs and like unlocking features which yeah. is which is a different thing yeah like I'm, kind I, of... I'm struck i can't think of any games that like have houses in them but you can't enter the houses because like those two things go together that content and that mechanic are why would you put the houses into the game if you couldn't go into them? I mean, there must be. Are you talking about just <laughs> RPGs? Because, like, I'm sure yeah. that there's... You mean before the house entry? Era? Yeah, yes. I guess that's sort of what I'm talking about, is that, like... Okay. We have the technology to display houses on the screen, but not the technology to allow you to enter them. And so I mean, it, we just have these, I, these sort of background houses that... Look like you should be able to well, go into them, but you can't. See, I I think of it as notice that programming is needed here. Notice that programming yeah. is needed here too, because like yeah. from a product perspective, you don't think of it as hey, listen, we solved the ability to put houses in. We haven't solved the ability to get into them. Like the the solution and the art and the implementation, it all happens at once. Excuse me. Um, I mean, what? Were there RPGs before house entering RPGs? Because I'm thinking about like Dragon Warrior, like Dragon Knight, Final Fantasy One. Those all had enterable houses, right? This is uh, the original Zelda, Legend of Zelda had enterable caves, but not houses. Oh, you're right. Then there was no, there was no curry. There were like caves and like. castles. Yeah. yeah. And that's arguably an RPG. Oh my God! You're down the well. Are you gonna have to fight rats? You grew up. Oh, oh your 
<laughs> that was really bad. I mean, I mean, it, mm. it was worse for me than it, you'd think watching that happen. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually quite tough. Dude, these, these worm cards the card are without. Yeah, you got a worm. So you, now you have a bat and you have a worm. So are you going to be playing some worm bat later? Good old worm bat. Oh, Good old strange. worm bat. God, the, the zoom back camera angles. So good. What is your what is your um what are you wearing on your face? Is it like a helmet visor? <laughs> yeah, I think yeah. <laughs> it's it's like the grill of a helmet. <laughs> <laughs> You're wearing yeah. forehead. <laughs> yeah. It's really kind of cool. <laughs> I I want nothing on me protected except most of my forehead. There are these slits of entry where someone could stab me with a fork, but. But <laughs> <laughs> won't let me pass with my current equipment. Okay. The crystal caves. Is there someone I can buy shit from? You'd think. Oh my god, we actually are stuck. If you can we, can we go up to the crystal caves? I thought it was across here. Oh, maybe. Oh, your oh, character see. has that I problem see. Yes, where it looks like his legs never cross each other. Oh, yeah, where, <laughs> where it just looks like you're kind of squeezing galloping. your thighs <laughs> together a bunch. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You really you need that frame. <laughs> you need that frame of it being straight up and down. <laughs> you're gonna get the gallop going. Yo, st on. St st <laughs> still chillin', Sam. It's great to have you stop by and join us. We are we're doing some old school la, 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 abstract la, la, la. explorations. Let's see if we can get ourselves some equipment from the inn. No, no. It's good to have There's you still chillin', Sam. No, no, we can't. Can you go to the again. left. Is there anything on the other side? Nothing here. Would you like to spend seven in the in the inn in the inn a night at the inn? No. Would you like to okay. spend a brick of never platinum mind. on never this mind. Mind. stick? Dude, while, while we're doing this wander about... Did you talk you... to that little kid? Oh, wait. I see a new door. Mm. There it Ooh, is. Ooh, this could be the one. You can't read that. Oh, shop? Shopkeeper. Um... Phoenix down? All right. They just straight up Phoenix down us here. I mean, yeah, Phoenix I do. down. No, I'm ten gold short. Mm. I have to. I literally have to grind. This game sucks. Do, yeah, you have, you to, grind. Grind. You you have to grind. You have to grind those armos. Grinding armos. Yeah, what is there to grind? Oh, oh. You get coins from the ship. 50, 50 gliss. Gliss. Yeah. Oh shit. Holy gliss. Gliss is a horrible word. It really is, but it's it's Gil, which is the yeah. word from um, Final Fantasy VII games. Final Fantasy, yeah. Which I can now pluralize. Right. Disregard monsters, accumulate gliss. There it is. Man, this was such... Because I, I still remember one of my best slash worst memories of all time. Um, oh. I had gotten Final Fantasy 1, and I played it for like 40 hours. And that game required you to do some serious grinding, so I played it a lot. Mm -hmm. 40 hours as a child is, is most of my life. It's about as many memories as I could yeah. hold in my brain at any one point in time. Okay. Um, yeah. And my neighbor borrowed all my Nintendo games. And so he just overwrote my save in Final Fantasy. Even oh, though I explicitly told him no. not to. And he tried to lie oh, about it. No. So George, George, did you, when you played, did you do a new game like I said and not hit save? And he was like, I didn't find the game very fun. And I was like, did you hit save? George, did you hit save? And I remember like running to his basement. He was just like <sighs> grabbing. He's like, no, Sean, don't look at it. He like didn't admit to it. I like plugged in the, the cartridge and it had been completely overwritten. Oh, wow. No. Uh, it's devastating. That man. sucks. That, that's so... That's so, that, You know, I bet at that point you wish you had password system. 
Yeah, right. Exactly. Yeah. M Mega Man for that shit. You know that because I feel like people don't recall passwords <laughs> as much these days. <laughs> I'm just imagining like a, a Mega Man style password system for Final Fantasy, and it's like a thousand by a thousand <laughs> grid. <laughs> it's just sixteen. It's just sixteen kilobytes of text. <laughs> Dude, yeah, like, 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 games in the olden days did not have um, the idea of memory to save yep. what your game state is. Nowadays, you have so many saves in every single game that you play. But back then, the idea was the game had a set of predetermined strings that you could type in that would load various game states. And so, in Mega Man Two, oh, whoops. Sorry, everyone, I just realized that the uh, my volume settings were screwed up on my uh, console because my cat likes to rub her face against it. Ah, uh, of course. So, um... What was I talking about? Oh, yeah, so in Mega Man 2, you had, like, a 6x6 grid where you had to fill in various dots, and depending upon what you filled in, it would have you beaten some bosses, not beaten the others, and so on. Yeah. Or, like, in Lemmings, if you wanted to get to a certain level, you had to type in 10 characters. That's how you save yeah. games. And so, like, the idea of being able to, like, load and save didn't exist. You just remembered what your freaking passwords were. Yeah. <laughs> and if you wrote I mean, them I down wrong, you were screwed. One. I think I've got one. 007 Six, three. I think this gets you to Super Macho Man and uh, in Mike Tyson's Punch Out. <laughs> oh yeah. Here, I'm gonna put it in the chat. Oh man, you're so good. With your fucking fancy. Whoa, what? You have another force choice. You evolved. <laughs> you evolved women in games. <laughs> oh, we got Karis. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Uh, what, what's the name of this of this hero? Um, uh, all right, uh, Lee. Uh, pick a letter. L. All right, Sean. Uh, a. All right. Uh, I'll do S. Lee. T. Sean. Why? <laughs> uh, where is that? Uh, I'll do B. You. Uh, Sean? T. I'm trying to be random. T? Here. Yeah, I'm not being random. All right, uh, I'll, I'll do I'll do T. Yeah. Oh, no, there's no more. It's just, hey, it's just Lasty Butt. <laughs> Lasty Butt. <laughs> it's really good. <laughs> yeah, we got Lasty Butt. All right, that's, that's really good. <laughs> Lasty Butt. So gonna be a chest over here. Yeah. Emuck. You don't have a room. Can we set our own name? Probably gonna have to unlock that. What in the actual Oh what? Oh shit. What the fuck? That was weird. Okay. Ah, I hit that, that. that weird transition. That's a weird transition. I'm not a fan. What? What Dude. is going on here? Whoa! Hit hit. We're four Wait. screens Whoa! deep at this point. Wait, hold on. Now we're not. <laughs> we're not in the overworld, but we're still doing random what? battles? We've gone. Yeah, that's right, we, baby. We need to get it kicked out of here. We're incepted pretty bad. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, hold on. I do like how they invented the idea that the other characters in your party are just sort of like subsumed into the main character. Yeah. Skavens. I'm someone. I do like these guys, too. Oh, yeah. It's Sk Skaven is such a perfect name to capture just something uncomfortable vaguely that I don't really know what that means. Oh, I don't have that? Magic? Oh, alright, heal. You can use m -m 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 magic b -b but humans can't do that. You've won the guild. Dude, this, these sidetracks I feel like destroy the entire reason I want to show you these games. Yeah. Like the fact that we're actually playing a game now? Well, but we're not doing the thing that the game is about. Yeah, it's becoming its own thing. Whoa, what? 
Wibble book. What, what is this? See, like, I actually think that these are messing okay. with the flow. I could definitely turn down the number of Skavens in this economy. <laughs> it, it just, like, I'm weirded out by the fact that we are zoomed in to a level where we should be able to see the enemies. Yeah. But we're still going into these random battles. I guess because they're supposed to be popping up out of the ground. I just, I don't like that. No, I mean, that's, this is very Final Fantasy, though. Like, Final Fantasy in the... Yeah. Yeah. Is it yeah, true? Yeah. In the, in the... It is, it is. When you're in, like, a, when you're in, like, a cave. When you're in a cavern, designed level. You're going to be, yeah, you're going to be real size, and then it zooms in. And the scaling is also usually very strange, because then if you look at yourself in this screen, you're yeah. much smaller than your surroundings <laughs> yeah, in the background. Yeah, it's, it's extremely says, weird. We haven't unlocked cohesive level design yet. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, that's so good. Um, and this is, yeah, you're basically, you are a Pokemon in your own pocket at this point in time. <laughs> Yeah, oh my god, the, the, like, I'm trying to think of any game that does this nowadays, the, the randomly encountered battle. Um... I mean, it's, because, I mean, this was I super mean, not, common. not in the same way. Killing random mobs. Yeah, yeah. It's random mobs now. What, like, but like, in what sense? Not like in Minecraft, well, uh, mobs spawn. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah. And in uh, a cave, mountain cave. You know, like WoW, World of World of Warcraft. Well, those are usually random. No, left, 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 left. Oh, left. thank God. Oh, left. oh, up. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. God, I love backseating so much. Slimes. It's one of my yeah. my core tenets here on uh, Day Night TV. Is please backseat. How much you love backseating? Yeah, it's yeah, yeah, so yeah. good. It's the best. Hey Sean, have you considered putting a stream redeem for like a lot of channel points that unlocks like five minutes of backseating? Oh, there needs to be just like a if you give me enough U.S. dollars. <laughs> yeah, bits. Just do bits. Yeah, yeah, just yeah. Set yeah. It at, and it just set it at like five thousand bits. It just shows up on the screen. It's like you have backseating privileges for sixty seconds, and I'm like, tell me what to do. And if you yeah. don't give me the exact like like um, the obstinate genie sort of identity of like, unless you tell me to like yeah. hold forward, I'm not going to move. Go there. What does that mean? You're not explaining it. Are right, your times up? Like, <laughs> I, I've been enjoying doing this on Twitch. Now that I actually watch Twitch, now that I'm kind of a Twitcher. This name should definitely um, be Clink. All right, uh, Sean, uh, please pick the first letter. Um, Three. Uh, it, I will only do the 26 letters of the alphabet. All right, uh, P. Uh, Lee, hit me with the next one. All right, I'm just going to look at the screen and whatever I see. Four. No, wait, that's not a letter. Why? <laughs> All right, uh, I'll do X. Uh, I? Uh, Lee? F. Uh, I'll do F. A? Uh, Lee? D. <laughs> okay, that's it, picks a fad. <laughs> Pixabad. Pixabad. <laughs> Pixabad is good. Pixabad is not Pixabad at all. No, it's Pixabad and Lasty Butt, huh? Pixabad and Lasty Butt going on in. Hey, Rickety Pixabad. Crickets, happy 100 months Rickety in a row. Crickets. Hell yeah. Cave monsters. Oh no. Wait, we already have cave what monsters. What the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> we yeah, just we... did a whole thing with cave monsters. Can we fucking re gift our scavens? <laughs> Coughing pop says, <laughs> ask your doctor about Pixafad. Pixafad. <laughs> Maybe right. Ask your doctor if Pixafad is right for you. Oh, but I zero. <laughs> I just I don't really watch TV. 
but recently Britt and I watched the uh, NCAA finals for basketball, and mm-hmm. like pharmaceutical ads are insane. Yeah, it's just like so weird. weird. It's just like, have you found that you're experiencing a little bit of uh, exhaustion through day to day? Try this medication. Side effects include, and then it's most of the commercials the side effects. Yeah, and, uh-huh. and it just Crazy. it just shows like a sixty year old dad just like hanging out with his wife in a restaurant laughing as they just say the most horrible things are going to happen to this guy. <laughs> <laughs> He's just. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh God. You might experience eye bleeding, erectile dysfunction, and hardened scales. I'm like, what? What? (laughs) Clank in a wine and slow mo. And it's always just like, I don't let my Fnerfnies ankles slow me down (laughs) when I want to keep up with my grandkids. Yeah. Try Schnendal. Torque. Never done. Douse yourself in potion. I am. Um, uh, you know what movie I had absolutely zero interest in watching, mm. um, and then watched, and it turned out it was quite good. Talk. Uh, Ghostbusters Afterlife. Oh, like the, the like, one with the kids and the Paul Rudd the one with the kids in the Paul Rudd I watched trailers for that movie and was like absolutely not because uh, it starts the god the trailers are hard right because they start with like they start with the single piano key uh super uh uh sorry what's the word for when you romanticize the past uh super nostalgic, nostalgic yeah super nostalgic single piano key thing and it's like they are treating with reverence the most irreverent film franchise. But please, yes. go on. Uh, but um, actually, the writing is pretty tight, and the uh, uh, the main actors were really good. Oh, I guess yeah, that track. I enjoyed it. Nice. Are you? Have you seen, or are you going to see um, Ghostbusters really, really cold? Well, now I'm kind of intrigued. I'm going to see who the writing team is, because... Uh, that was the thing that sort of like really surprised me was that it was not. I mean, it was a huge nostalgia cash grab, but it yeah. was not just that. It was also sort of like well, well done nostalgia cash grab. Are um, they gonna? So then after that, do you think they'll do like Ghostbusters Hot City, and it'll be like a hot one, and then it'll also bring in like the the Wokebusters all women. Why why do we need women? Wokebusters. <laughs> Oh my God! Oh Jesus! <laughs> the most like for people who don't people who are like, why do they have to be women? Like, it's like you may be shocked to learn that up to fifty percent of people are in fact women. It's so yeah, wild. Yeah, I don't know. I... <laughs> it's pretty crazy. You might think it's like a third or like a, a quarter, but I am like I feel a sense of universal injustice that mm-hmm. Kate McKinnon has not been in literally every movie that's been produced since that that came out. <laughs> she was... Yeah, she pretty I good. I have never laughed as hard uh, as I laughed at Kate McKinnon in that movie. She's pretty good. She's pretty good. Yeah, you know, here's the thing. So, Roar... Wor- <laughs> good username. But yeah, Wokebusters is a perfect description. But the problem is this. It's... Both funny from it's funny from my perspective, and it's also fun, funny, funny from the um, the lame perspective. <laughs> Hell yeah! <laughs> what, are we, what are we calling these side? Like, like I hate to call it like sides. You know, how everything's so polarized right now. Um, oh, what are the two? What are the two teams here? I guess I don't even know if that's something we can even get into because it's so polarized today. Oh it's yeah, so polarized. So polarized. It's so polarized. Dude, these cards and these stars the are ruining side. the game. If they had literally <laughs> deleted these from the game, it would be so much yeah. stronger. Because like yeah. when I played, totally. I did nothing but evolve. I feel like it happened in a later <laughs> patch. Oh my god. Um, okay, so Zamru says the sleepy side, which is incredible, because then you have the woke the woke people and the sleepy people. Okay. And then Roar War says, are we getting the Chadbusters movie? So I think 
I think what's going on here is that there's Wokebusters and Chadbusters. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's enough politics for tonight, everybody. Let's keep this a politics-free zone. Oh, we woke up the Guardians of the Crystal. Whether, whether you're woke or you're sleepy, I think it's time to take that. Just dump that all in the Discord. <laughs> oh, special least, you got a perm ban removed from you, and then you said thanks as a first-time chatter. I don't know how you got banned having never chatted in this channel before. That's incredible. <laughs> That's amazing. What? Well done. I'm so how... sorry. That's like we had somebody now. So I have a Discord. Uh, shout out to Casual Dragon and Jess9000, who I modded without consent. But <laughs> <laughs> um, my Discord is a good place. And... Uh, there was somebody, we have a place in there where you post, you know, your creative stuff. Also, that's Kefka's Ghost, shout out. Um, happy birthday, Kefka's Ghost. Uh, but <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Uh, also, the animation, I think, except. But my point is, um, we got this post in the creative channel that was like, it was like weirdly, I didn't know you could do like italics and all caps and bold. I didn't know you could do that in Discord. Oh yeah. But it was just like, please remember to like, like and subscribe to all my art. Here's, you know, some pictures. And we were just like, wow, uh, much bot, much banned. And wow. we deleted it. And then the person was like, why did my post get deleted? And it's like, turns out they aren't a bot. <laughs> 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 it was just like such a weird, <laughs> it was such a, such a failure of, uh, I guess, like, what is it, like, Asimov's five principles of determining who's human or whatever the fuck? Yeah, I don't know that it's that, but... <clears throat> it's just, like, when you roll in with all of the... All of the text formatting well, set to a million, and you just, yeah. like, drop some... It said, please remember... Oh, it said, like, please remember to uh, check out and stuff. Whoa! Uh, Are you actually 3D? Because you're looking... Oh like yeah. made out of polygons. We we skipped right to Wind Waker here, didn't we? No, this is not Wind Waker. This is uh, Quest 64. 16 bit music, yeah. See, there's like, no, there's no uh, textures. This game. Yes, correct. Like literally, Quest 64 did not have textures. I'm gonna make a very bold <laughs> claim that simply Please. having chests and cards and power ups like this ruin the game. Yeah, I think it is ruined. destroyed. The timing of unplayable. The game. unplayable. I, I, yeah, I think it should be like checkpoints. Heck is quest sixty four. Didn't didn't even know that uh, we could get killed in one shot because Sean is a mm. baller. Quest sixty four looks actually kind of sick. Yeah, fuck yes. I had like never heard of it. I mean, I think I saw it once in like a Nintendo Power or something. I think it was extremely uh, unpopular. <laughs> was it like bigger in Japan? Or <clears throat> Maybe. Why is there like a kind of a were cat? There's kind of a they've got kind of a furry were cat who vamps around and has like bare abs in a way that because it's a furry <laughs> cat, it kind of looks like they just like went to the vet and like. Went to yeah. Have, like, Something, yeah. I don't know about that. So, so dude, that's character design, is what that is. That is character design. <clears throat> I genuinely think that these little side tracks are ruinous. You know, the card Pakun, new card to play Double Twin. Like, I mean, they're certainly dude, destroying any idea of fun that I'm having with this game. I when when I played this, no. I don't think that they had these sort of side tracks. Well, it does. It sounds like they had a small game that worked, and then in order to like finish it, they had to bulk it up, and so they put in some stuff that maybe doesn't work as well. Mm -hmm. Well, this is so yeah, they put in a lot of random cards to finish you know, the let game, me... and to be fair, I can't finish without random cards either. Now, I don't know Sean, if it's do you think that we should... <laughs> should we just go to their Discord right now and, and, and just let and, them... And type lazy devs in us? all caps. Lazy devs. Yeah, I think that actually... That actually, I think, sums it up. <laughs> all right. Because I, I, I feel... 
You know, I, I was, I was, maybe it was one of you I was That's telling me this about I... that, like, people, people who are pieces of shit, yeah, are completely desensitized to their behavior because they're around themselves mm. all the time. But Sean, what oh, if we're doing gosh, this Oh gosh, that is really, that's a good point. So the kind of person that's like lazy devs, oh, it's so bad, sure. They were too lazy not to do it. I'm helping you. Come here. Ugh. Yeah, the people this that are just... This is satire, everyone. This is don't... Please don't. Please never... Yeah, yeah please anything. never, ever, ever do that to any don't dev do anything. ever. Never, ever, yeah. ever do it. In the same don't way do that it. I'm doing a car wash with Sheriff. Never, ever don't do this, ever. Don't do it, any of this. All of this, don't do this. <laughs> the things that we say to you... <laughs> Yeah, the things that we're doing right now, don't do it. Here I go, I'm going to do it. Please. Please. Yeah. No, because, I mean, like, uh, th there's the kind of person that will, like, go to a developer and say the most awful, appalling stuff you've ever heard, and then just, like, go yeah. to the park and hang out and read a book and, like, not think about it. Right. Yeah, they'll just be like, gosh, I love parks and books. Yeah. <laughs> uh... Oh, pixelated textures, let's go. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, So I feel like any time there's something that looks like a path off to the side, I need both of you to say, Sean, don't go there. Because if we do that, we right. wind up finding things. Right. And we hate that. That's what we don't like. Oh my god, the dimensional stone. I'm back to where I you started. You passed it. Oh, you passed your dimensional stone. I'm, I'm glad. that. Did it hurt? Okay, okay that's weird, <laughs> though. the dimensional like, stone I passed. <laughs> because it, it like... It's okay. it's smaller. You're able to sort of just walk over it in a way that suggests that you have like evolved past it. Yeah. Um, but it really just shrunk down very small. Like there's nothing. Yeah. <laughs> well, there's I, nothing I... in what we've done that has caused us to be like substantially bigger than the dimensional stone. I mean, that's the thing about a dimensional stone, isn't it? Um, I guess so. It went that away, as oh. the scientists say. Camera what zoom, we got new. Oh, yeah. camera zoom! Oh! Now it's picking back up again, once we went back to the original forest. Yeah, we to should some, have never left I mean, in some forest. ways, though, the camera was always zoomed. What does it mean, camera zoom? I think I think it is a... Um, because after we got that, the camera, like, swung around. Uh -huh. So now I think it's a a, a physicalized, like lurping camera, or a, sure. it's an animated like camera. Lee, yeah. you want an answer? Get ready to lurp, baby. It's, you ready to lurp? Here it comes. Stretching. Let's lurp. Yeah. Let's lurp. Clock. There it is. Whoa. That is Whoa. too much of a lurp. Watch uh, Should brother, not. That's no play. good. You gotta. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> no, that is. Uh, it's too tight a turn. So, I had a funny. I have some, I guess I have like some sit down comedy. I have some stand up for you. All right. Um, so I'm at the phase in my transition here where I've started getting the, uh, you get direct messages on various platforms and here's what they say. Hello, beautiful. Yeah, there it is. Congratulations. <laughs> it's just, there's just capital H and capital B. And I was telling somebody that like, uh, what's weird is that they always feel like, uh, it feels like flirtation mixed with harassment mixed with somehow fishing. Um, yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And so you're like, you're like, why do I now have an internet husband and I feel bad? And also uh, now someone opened a, a bank account in my name. Yeah. You know, it's weird. <laughs> All right. We're in the Noria mines. <laughs> No, uh, and then the other that? thing I'll say is, uh, here's another joke. Do you want a joke? Oh sure. my God, Lee! All I ever want is joke. I've missed jokes. You know how they say that you know, by and large, uh, trans fats aren't good for you. Yeah. Yeah. Well, as as a by and large trans fat, I find that very <laughs> offensive. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, 
Well, I, what I like <laughs> is that the setup was as rewarding as the punchline. Yes. Yeah. Because like, no one in 2024 talks about trans fats. That's like that's like an early 2000s thing. Hey, look, it takes a while to write a good joke, <laughs> and by the time it's written, it's historical. Send it back. <laughs> Send it back. <clears throat> All right, going in deep. <laughs> Solar printed. Can, okay, can she say that? <laughs> the last tendo. I've seen the last tendo around. See, now that I'm on Discord, Come now on, that I'm a Discord, a or I'm, I mean Twitch, or whatever they are, now that I'm a Twitch, a Twitch head, now that I'm a twi Twitch, or yeah, what is it like a Twitch head? Who's a Twitch? What's, Twitch yeah, it's Internet, Twitch. please. I'm crowdsourcing this question. What is what is the nature of someone who spends all their time on Twitch? Is it a Twitcheroo? It's Twitcheroo. It's me. I'm on Twitch now. And um, so I see people in the chats, and I'm like, hey, I have a vague idea who you might be, just given the he, six or seven characters in your name. <laughs> Randomus totally says the Twitcher skipped. starring Henry Cavill. That's such <laughs> a good name. We totally skipped oh. uh, uh, Link to the Past. Oh, we did. Where the hell is that? I don't know. We've reached, like, iOS weird-ass kind of, like... Wait, I, sorry, I just realized I was on the verge of accidentally roasting the devs of this game. What? It, okay, but I am curious, like, what, is there a historical moment that this represents? Uh, 3DS, I would say. Like, 3DS. this is like a, a link between worlds. Like, solid. No, this is worlds. not, this is, a, this is maybe like Phantom Hourglass. Oh, okay, sure. Yeah. That might be. You're right. There's not. There's neither enough, uh, but not an and also not enough screen. Yeah. For this to be a 3DS. Um. Well, Phantom Hourglass was 3DS. <laughs> it was just a different. But like, the the uh, link between worlds, link to the past style was like heavily leveled uh, uh -huh. like vertical 2D level design yeah and we just like it wasn't, didn't yeah, do that it wasn't like on a we're looking down at a 45 degree angle here yeah yeah like the link to the past style movement in the SNES era feels very absent in this yeah it kind of feels like it went from like NES style adventuring to SNES turn-based RPG into yeah. something roughly PS1-ish, PS2-ish. Yeah. Yeah. Where's your Link to the Past club, Mayor Turkey? Where's your Although this is extremely Link to the Past like in terms of gameplay. So it's very interesting. It looks like you're doing kind of a forehand swing with the, you're like doing a forehand tennis racket swing with that sword. <laughs> you're not really following through. I don't know. Ooh. You Ooh. need a shield. Yeah, you're gonna need that shield. I'm sorry. Were you criticizing me? Were you criticizing no, me? No, no, no. The path I'm... that was correct. Oh, we're no. telling. We're telling people. This is. We're telling the universe. Like, yeah. hey, Sean deserves a shield. Yes, exactly. <laughs> okay. That's that's what I'm saying. I'm sorry. I didn't realize that it was support. I really lashed out at you both, and I apologize for that. <laughs> Thank you. I, that, uh, don't worry. It was funny. But Lee, you're right. Where, where it's like the sort of. Uh, oh, this sort of like scooping sword, like out, out like outward, yeah. supposed to like, uh, like a big slashing open. Yeah. Hmm. You're just kind of slapping your sword at them. Can you hold the button to charge your swing? We definitely haven't unlocked that. I know. It's, it would, I this can't. Be an Easter egg. <laughs> You can push it, Sean. I can't can push stop it. Push it, seeing push it. three hearts and Chewbacca. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yep, it just got... sounds like a really good post-punk band live show. It's just like yeah. the three hearts and Chewbacca. <laughs> push. Nothing says pushable like a campfire. 
Which... That sounds like a roast, but to be fair, it actually catches on very fast when the only campfire on mm. a brick is on a brick that you can push. Shadowcast just pointed out a momentous moment. Lee. Yeah? What's the moment? Lee. Lee, you helped solve a puzzle. Did I? Oh, shit. Yeah, well, I you didn't just solve it. I just told you how to do it. You were just like, Sean, I want you to do this. Like, you actually, you actually looked at what I was doing and went, you know what? I can help with this. I've... Look, I've helped before with... Pu Le okay, You've I've helped, helped a few ten times. ten total like times three? in the history of this no, show, Lee. Fewer than ten. Fewer than ten. It's not my job. Fewer than ten. But I have helped. And once or twice, it's been just really out of, like... Once or twice, it's just been like, oh, I solved that. I, I, I integrated that, you know, yeah. for, for you. Yep. But, uh, yeah, thank you. You're welcome. Lee, um, it's good to have you here. We wouldn't have been able to push that thing forward thanks. without you. Or we would have some... had me just hang out for a long time. Yeah, you would have pushed, push it, push it. <sighs> oh, God. Sleep is so hard these days. And now that I'm in the middle of trying to solve a puzzle, my body's like, go to bed. <laughs> like, obviously, I love bed. sleeping. Lee helped with the turtle, Mr. Fuzz says. <laughs> the turtle. <laughs> turtle. Remember after we messed with the turtle for an hour, and then we found out later that there's like right next to it is like yeah, oh, that was the funniest thing ever. To be we, we found out like four hours later. <laughs> we walked by and was like, oh wait, there's something on the ground here. What is it? We looked and it's just a clear solution to the thing that we were stuck on for an hour. And I was like, all right, wait, you gotta, okay, you gotta hide. Up. She just walked out from inside of you like she was your soul. <laughs> And you got a high def you Oh, 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 look at this. I do, I do, I do four, four swing, back swing. Oh, yeah. so you have a combo. You have a combo. I like the way that you are doing that there, Sean. I'm a oh, oh, look out. He's also got a visor Wait. head. Yeah, you what got the hole. hell? You got hole? You got hole. Oh, you can, you can bump him into the hole. Hole? Not very effectively. Fuck you. You'll have to do better than that. Hey, it worked. No more Chewbacca. Oh my god. Okay. This very much reminds me of there's a sequence in the beginning of Link to the Past where uh, there's just like two buttons uh, yeah. and they're like, okay, one of these buttons will open the door and the other one will drop a whole bunch of snakes on you. Yeah, I, lo I love that actually. <laughs> snake button. What the <laughs> fuck? Uh, are you losing life? I hope you're losing you need, life. Yeah, you are. You need the Pegasus boots here. Yeah, you're going to need the... Oh, it's three. That's what's going on. Oh, okay. Oh, it's a timing puzzle. I thought it was one, that... two, run. So when it was one, two, and then I ran out and got hit by the third, I was shocked. Shocked, I said. Oh! Oh, seriously? Okay. You've unlocked Plaid. Whiz robes. Actually, I'm sorry, for intellectual property purposes, we have to call them Jorcer. Cops Riz and Robers. Riz robes? Riz robes. Did you? Oh, Riz robes. Cops and Robers. Rops and cobbler. Oh, I see. You you can walk diagonally, which makes this puzzle weirder. Yeah. Dude, that's like let me tell you, this is such a satisfying puzzle. When it's like the only possible thing that could be asking you to do is what you're being asked to do, and then you do it. Mm. <laughs> oh my god, it's oh, the little spikes from fuck. uh mm. It's the little floor spikes from Blaster Master. Oh Blaster I Master those boy. in a long time. I love Blaster Masters. Okay, now this is just an adventure game. You got a key. Yeah. A key? Esta? 
That's a, that wasn't even a joke. That's just what goes in my head every fucking time. Oh, it's good to have you back, Lee. Thank you. It's good to be had. You it's lava! Oh, weird. it actually really what cooks you. you. You actually, I, I mean, thank like you a, for trying out the lava. That was that was like a whole heart. Yeah, I mean, this cooks you more than dropping in the pit. Super you know, cooked. Get cooked. Yeah, fuck that guy. <clears throat> Dude, don't even say a word to me. <laughs> you unlocked comedy. <laughs> oh god. Thank you. When you got down to less than half a heart, your alarm clock went off. Okay. No! I'm seriously? Sorry. I'm sorry, everyone. Wake up. Wake up. All Wake up. Back there. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. <laughs> it's 6 a.m. No! High School oh! in 1999. <laughs> Game over. Uh... Oh my god. This is so. Is that it? We're done? I can't believe it. I was all excited to show you guys this game. It's really cool. It's a game thing. It's like falling into lava and it's booting me from the game. This game fucking sucks, man. <laughs> Games aren't supposed to have obstacles or anything in them. No, of course not. Hold on, I'm using. I love sound thing. effects that are just so clearly somebody with their mouth and the microphone. Dude, like, oh my god! I remember there was a game for Independence Day, like the movie that came out, mm -hmm. and it like when something was blown up. Because you, you played as one of the ships that was trying to fly into the huge alien disc. Okay, sure, sure, sure. <laughs> and, and when you did that, blew up one of the alien ships, it went... <laughs> like, it literally was a man <laughs> saying B and then C. <laughs> That's really good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Those are such good sounds. Yeah, they're good. Because they sound... There, nothing, there's nothing better than how those sound in your head, inside your own head. Yeah. Like, the orchestration you can create with just your mouth. Where are you going? Oh, What's over here? What's over oh, here? you're going to take the side passage Absolutely over to the awesome. side? Oh. You're going to get a star. Or like I've earned hard. Spider, you can play in Double Twin. Mm. Oh, this should have been cut from the game. Mm, you could have just not gone there. Or I could have gone there and complained as loudly as I could to the public. And had them agree with me. You absolute <laughs> fuck this fucking game. <laughs> it's not funny. Stop laughing. It's pretty good. <laughs> I'm very I want to be mad. Yeah, yeah. I, I want to be the man. Doesn't I want to be the guy? Is that a sequel to I, I want to be the guy? Know. I want to be the oh, I want to be the man. I want to be the husband. I want to be a man. <laughs> I'm making like a game called I Wanna Be a Man. <laughs> it's it's not woke at all. <laughs> it's not woke. It's, it's not woke. Sleep. It's, just... it's very sweepy. Oh my god. <laughs> That's what I mean we figured oh, out. Oh, here. I don't there's, even there's the woke agenda and then there's the sweepy weepy events. <laughs> I'm so tired. I don't I'm want so it in my game. You're so tired. I'm tired. I only want men in my games. <laughs> I'm too sweepy. I'm sweepy. I don't know. I won in my game. Oh, <laughs> uh, dude, purified on Hunter says I could actually see, see Sean getting into I want to be the guy. Yeah, no, I would absolutely play the crap yeah, out of those you games. Would. 100%. Curious Epic just said EP agenda. <laughs> like, <laughs> that's pretty good. <laughs> we figured it out. Oh, dude, Curious <laughs> Epic. No, I, I had a friend type EP to me on accident when they intended to type Sleepy. Uh -huh. And I loved that. I was obsessed with that. I was like, I'm EP. It's extremely good. Sorry, can't be there. I'm EP. <laughs> I'm so... EP. Boss door key. That's really good. Boss door, are you ready to fight? You're gonna get some, uh, what do you think? It's gonna be a Gahoma? It's gonna be a Gahoma? I think it's gonna be a dude in armor and shield ready to you fight. Think it'll be a, a Lord Dodongo? King Dodongo. King Dodongo dislikes smoke. 
I've got a you star. Got a star. Collect all the stars, Sean. I bet you wish you knew how many there were. Five, five stars. Oh my five God! One hundred and fifty. Oh! You need a shield, bro. I need no shield. No, you just need a micro. Ow! Somehow that worked. You don't have to say it like that. Ow, this fuck out, man. We're, this what? is. Aren't we back? Where am I going? Wasn't there a door here? Where's the door? This is, we've already done this part. I know. Isn't there a door here? What? What happened to the? I don't know. Listen. The only mathematically valid RTS is one in which the units micro themselves. Sorry. 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 I'm sorry. Oh, you. Oh. I hate these skeleton guys. Wow. Skeletals? Oh, is there Mr. like Skeletal. a. Is no, there a you. strategy that I'm missing for the. <laughs> Wait, Mr. what? Spink. Did I go Mr. all the way Spink. around? Oh, I feel so stupid, man. This game is not yeah, a history okay. of this games. Shout out. Shout out to Mr. Sping saying it was so good we're doing another loop. <laughs> 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 Shit! No! No! I don't want to go! Hey, fuck! It's hard to play video games while you're streaming video games. No, this is this is the most realistic experience of playing a video game ever. Yeah. That's true. Come on, man. That, yeah. Come on, man. It's hard. It's hard. No! Oh. Hey. Uh, uh, kill shock. Ah! Uh, no, I need to kill him first. I, I think if you die, I'm pretty no, sure. No way! I can, I can avoid it. Yeah, you're just gonna, you'll only advance. No, this die. is the wrong way to go. <laughs> oh my god! Okay, I saved it. I can't believe I'm doing yeah, this twice. This is so stupid. So, 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 this game. This game. I can't believe you just saved. You saved with a quarter heart over your last save, where you had full hearts. <laughs> oh, Sean! I didn't need that then! Why? Bimbo why? Why, guns, why would... I'm not trying to burgle you! <laughs> Dude. That just seemed appropriate. This game degenerated. It it went through Devo land. <laughs> it got absolutely min-maxed. It, it degened. Someone was trying to extract Here's more the thing. value. I honestly, I think that this is a problem with this game. Yeah. Like, there's a lot that's very cool here, but the the fundamental problem with it as a game is that video games are fucking hard to make, right? And okay, so sure. the the prospect of making a video game is difficult. It, it it requires like a lot of time and effort and work. And what they're essentially doing is they're making like dozens of video games in yeah. different styles and trying to sort of mesh them together. Just one of those is very, very difficult to make fun. Uh, I think the prospect of, okay, we're gonna, we're gonna Shh. put all of this. Make it a longer speech. Okay. <laughs> those, oh, side note, those trap doors need to have a subtle but visual distinction. Um, I mean, no. the, just the, the one, the one at the Shit. end of that whole loop is it's such real a... real good. That is... It is that extremely was good. By, that was placed by a user experience fucking yes. king. Yeah. No, <laughs> user it's, experience it's, uh, king. Masterful. Drop lava trap doors, <laughs> user experience king. <laughs> <laughs> that was placed by Johnny Ive. He wanted to see what the level would look like if you simply removed the player. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now where's this fucking boss key door? <laughs> I went around the whole level two times. I'm, I think it's all the way to the left, maybe? There's no fucking way it's all the way to the left. Like, there is no way. I'm canceling mostly walking if it's all the way to the left. That's impossible. That's impossible, Sean. Just keep Remember going all the way to the left? Twitch and they said that this... Ah, right there. They said Twitch <laughs> can only survive as I'm not. As I, don't, I don't even want to go back to the game. I'll go back Show to is the over. game. Oh. <laughs> All right. I don't like. How is that possible? How is that possible? Wait, I want to show a flaw in the game. I want to show a flaw in the design. You walk left, and if you walk <laughs> up, that's the loop uh -huh. that we went through. Yes. Oh, yeah. 
So this would have worked. See, this is, but, but this is the kind of thing I'm talking about. Like this would have worked if they had moved this whole thing just a little bit to the right so that it was really obvious when you came in, hey, there's the boss yeah. door. I'm gonna have to through there eventually. And that's the kind of thing that you can do when you have a full production cycle to like make and play test and iterate on and redesign and polish yeah. a fucking video game. Uh, but if you're trying to squeeze yeah. all of this together, I think you just don't have the bandwidth to do it all at that level of quality. Dude, yeah, average game by so the camera did pan over to show us a path. Here's here's the risk of saying, well, dude, we wrote it down. And I'm gonna tell this story in two parts. Like, because you <laughs> okay. might say, oh, Jesus, I'll set all right, Mr. Tolkien. <laughs> <laughs> it's good to have you back, Lee. Thank you. So 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 this <laughs> movie. So so I'll tell the story in two parts. Okay, so so the whole I wrote it down is the idea of if you handed someone a piece of paper that said, said step one, two, three, four, five, all the way to step 17, and then later they go, what? How does this work? And you go, oh, I put it in step 16. Like, you have to understand that someone's attention is not continuously on the thing. So a really common pattern in interactive media is I can interact, I can move, I can click, I can do things, I can move, I can click. And then a cutscene begins, or there's a moment where it pans the camera, or a tutorial comes up, or a conversation begins. This is the most common lean out moment for players. Even players that love the game who are engaged, it's kind of like you're leaning in in that game of StarCraft, it says GG, shows the interface. Oh, okay, lean back. All right, I've been dodging lava pits and fire and all this stuff. All right, you did it. Here's the boss key, we're gonna pan. Oh, okay, all right, cool. You lean out and then you lean back in. And if there is a moment where the player could be leaning out during that period, the player could miss that camera pan. They could miss that line of dialogue. They could miss that critical piece of tutorialization. And this is why so many games have continuous tutorialization. As in, there is a bright blue light that is shining. And no matter where you look, you can see that blue light shining to kind of almost distractingly pull you in. Or games like Skyrim had the literal arrow fly out of your head to tell you where to go. Or there's a quest log where you can continuously check as to what's going on. Or if you've played a lot of modern AAA games, if you're stuck, it'll just at some point in time go, press X twice to double jump. You know, it'll just try to inform you as to the mm -hmm. thing that you might have tuned out. And I remember when I was at USC, I went to their, their uh, on the campus, there's this like medical center that's basically like a mini urgent care for students. And when I went there, they had this like LCD display where you could like, you know, tap through and there was a bunch of like, say yes, agree, do this. And then it said, do you agree to the terms? And it was like six pages. And I went next, 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 yes. And then I sat down because the last page said, sit in the waiting room. And after I was there for an hour, this woman came out and said, excuse me, are you, are you Sean Plot? And I went, yeah. And she goes, Ugh, didn't you read what it said? And I was like, yes, I had to sit in the waiting room. She's like, come this way, so I go upstairs. And I sit down there and there's a nurse who's actually doing the exam on, I think it was like my ankle and sprain or something like that. And this head honcho of the urgent care was going, I specifically wrote on the display that if your name was between N and Z to go to the second floor, if you were A to N, you go to the first floor. And I went, oh yeah, I, I didn't read that. And she went, well, it was extremely clearly written that that's where you should go. And I was like, oh, I just got done with a lesson from Tracy Fullerton where she explained to me that <laughs> players don't read. Like, <laughs> players don't fucking read anything that you say, you say to them, right? Like, and she was like, well, how are you supposed to know where to go if you don't read? And I was like, I don't know, but I didn't read. And I just sat there for yeah. an hour. I don't know, I was like, totally fine. Yeah. So it's just, it's this kind of funny thing where like, do, the, the, the statement, does there exist a literal place where the information existed in this game? Mm -hmm. I see chat saying, well, there's a camera pan. Yes. Mm -hmm. But if I missed that one camera pan one time, because 
I was distracted or I was playing the game and then I saw a cutscene and I went and checked my phone real fast then I went back like this or... Or you stop playing the game for a week or three weeks because like you play it on a on a yeah. weekly uh, Twitch stream. <clears throat> yeah, no, 100%. Yeah, yeah, I mean, that's why like interaction design as a discipline exists because yeah. it's hard to do this shit. I mean, it's also the case that, like, I mean, one of the big rules for Metroid Prime was as soon as you enter a room, you you have to see the exit you're trying to get to. Mm hmm Lasty butt. <laughs> um, so basically, it would have worked if they had just put the, put the exit you're going oh. for in the middle instead of on the left. Yep. Oh, cool. No. Oh, You're hell going yeah! going to have to break out some Mithril. Oh, did you reflect it back at him? No, he ran into a wall. Oh, that's always good, too. Did you just, like, shadow cleave him? Hold on, I'm, I'm, I'm hunting bats. Oh, no. Bat? I bet you can hit those. I wonder if you can hit those, actually. Can you swallow those? I got out of the way, you absolute turkey. We have been a really weird part of this game where it essentially has just sort of stopped uh, evolving itself, and, and now we're just playing this game. Yeah, now I'm Yeah, playing. exactly. Like, the last thing we got was a key and then a boss key. And it's like, that's just part of the game. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I'm so games... glad this is a one-shot. <laughs> this game I chose to show my that. friends is bad. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, oh, you got a cloud sword. Cloud sword. What mostly walking presupposes is this is a bad game. <laughs> this is a bad game. Welcome to welcome to our show where we play bad games for bad people. <laughs> Buster! Alright. 3D fights. Okay. Oh. So you See, this This is interesting. Now we're here again. Pixie Fat and Lasty Bud <laughs> against Pixie Zumba Fat and Apid. Yeah. Like, we. we everyone's we named, it, we named these characters exactly right. <gasps> like, in keeping with the, the aesthetic of the game. Yeah, hi. I'm Pixie Fat and Lasty Bud. Uh, yeah, and uh, look out. It's a Zumba and Absolutely Pid. <laughs> <laughs> What's this guy called? An a, a, Dude, an a, Abitya. Abitya. You see my wife, Abitya. 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 We like to go on walks in the moors. I bring my uh, walking stick. We can be out all day and have, uh, we have a crisp apple for lunch. <laughs> that's Europe. That's not. That's my impression of Europe. Jess is new from <laughs> IKEA. New from IKEA. Yeah. No. Anyone that went to Euro Trip definitely could could sound yeah. like that, or could just really not sound like anyone that's ever existed. I'm gonna mostly walk. What would a, what would a lasty butt be from IKEA? <laughs> it would be, it would be some sort of gutter. <laughs> it would be a gutter you install on your house. Some kind of gutter. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It rains too much. It drains out of the last. Butt. <laughs> I I think Pixifad would be a stuffed animal. It'd be a stuffy. Yeah, Pixifad. Mm, that could be. Whoa. Whoa. Pre-rendered backgrounds. Now we're talking. At last, we're back. First word? Is that the first word uttered? No. She said some stuff before. She said a bunch of stuff. She said so much stuff before. Everyone is fine. I'm the village has not been swallowed by the wastes. Will the power of the crystal, the crystal. be enough to save us? Oh. I hate it when she does that. <laughs> welcome to, excuse me, welcome to Owl Guy. Owl oh, Guy. Okay. Owl oh, Guy. Are you the you Owl Guy? Well, I want to be the Owl Guy. <laughs> Until the crystal cracked. Okay, sure. Yep. We need to find the seven keys and the seven. Uh, Lee, do you want to go right or back? Back. Actually, right. I'm sorry. I'm right. Go right. Wait. We can also go left. Oh, no, we can't. Uh, Let's go right. No, we can't. Ah, we can can't, I go in? We can't. We no. lost the technology we lost to enter. The ability. Technology's what? gone. What? 
<laughs> now we got loading screens. I've heard very worrying rumors lately. People saying the sacred grove has been corrupted. It was quiet and wonderful. I'm so sad. I'm devastated. Things are... Okay, actually, the design of these houses kicks ass. It really does. Where you have you have these kind of like... Um, uh, seafaring portholes. Like portholes. <laughs> yeah. Portholes and then the rounded wrecked... Uh, Wait, Look. who again, guys, says the person who did Evo Land, Evo Land, then Evo Land 2, then Northgard, then Darksburg, then War Tales, then Dune Spice Wars? Are you serious? Are you joking me right now? Because th th there is some probability that you've just listed six games arbitrarily. Shiro games? Holy fuck, yeah. that's right! Shiro did all of that shit! Wow. Did you know anything that chat says is probably true? It's probably true. Chat, this is your chance to say things that are probably true. Uh, I mostly don't know these games. So Northgard is a really <clears throat> nice mix of 4X style turn-based gameplay, but it's done in a real-time setting. And it is, I mean, it's oh wow, just based on the name, it's very, you know, Norse mythos based. Nordic. Sure. And then um, they did Dune Spice Wars, very which is very similar to North Garden its construction. And that's that's pretty solid. That sounds cool. pretty cool. Okay. Yeah, I'm so, looking at the trailer for Spice Wars. So here here are some <laughs> statements that people have decided to say are true. Let's let's read some of these. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Captain Oblivion says dinosaurs are still around today. That's right. Three of them host this show. Um, <laughs> oh, sure. Help out. Uh, Dungeon Blast is a up. Strawberry milk is from pink cows. That's true. <laughs> Average game guy says That's true. pie is exactly three. That's pretty good. Mm, that Ooh, is pretty good. What if only? Can Ooh. you imagine? Randomino says the moon is bigger than Asia. Probably. Right? Huh. Wait, I'm not. I actually don't know. Yeah. No. I hate that. I actually hate no, that. No, I would say no. What's bigger? You know what? Hold I'm gonna on. say no to that. I think that Shiro Games didn't make this. Okay, so let me look this up. Square. Go ahead and pee, Lee. Nothing we're gonna do yeah. has any value for a little bit. <laughs> I wasn't. I wasn't asking. Fine. How big is the moon? Moon is a bit more than one quarter, 27% of the Earth. Okay, so what percent uh, of the Earth is Asia? Okay, that also works. 30%. Asia's bigger than the moon. Asia's, Asia's bigger, bigger than the moon. Than the moon. I don't believe it. Randomino5, you said totally lie do. to us. Yeah, Asia's, Asia's super OP, you're right. Solar yeah. Parade says, is that mostly water? <laughs> what? <laughs> I, d I don't know. Rain Domino 5 says, in my defense, it was probably true. I mean, that's... Wow. I mean, Rain Domino 5, you actually, you, you did something that every content creator dreams of. You contributed to content. That's incredible. <laughs> I don't even know how to do content. I just am the one with the microphone. That's amazing. Yeah, no, it's it's landmass, Kyla. It's landmass. It's it's surface area. Surface area. All right. Well, let me just keep going around. Lee's gone, and so is any hope for finishing this game in the allotted time. Oh my God! Look at the now loading. And wait a second. B -b 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 Hold on. Restless child. The moon isn't just a surface. The moon has mass to it. Sure. And so if it... you take the mass of the moon and then you take Asia and the mass of Asia going down to the core of the Earth. I know, but it's, that's it's a nonsensical. Like the, the slice of the Earth that has Asia at the surface is is such a like meaningless construction of that's not volume. Asia? You're saying that's not Asia. You're saying Asia doesn't go all the way down? 
No. Uh, no, like, this is... <laughs> I think legally, I think you'd find, I think you'll find that Asia does go all the... Actually, there's probably plate tech. I don't that that. think that that's No, true, I mean, this, 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 this sounds like one of those insecure guys who's like, oh, my dick is like 18 inches long measured from the spleen. You know, I mean, come on. <laughs> The turtle isn't just the part sticking out of the shell. <laughs> Deep glands theory. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean. <laughs> Not my joke. Shout out to Jimmy Schimmel. Uh, the ruins of Sarunak to the northeast may hold treasures and dangers. Any healing out? Yes. <laughs> Save your game? Yes. <laughs> Listen, Asia is so much bigger than Africa. It goes like way deeper into the Earth's crust. <laughs> it's just as much. It's yes, still Asia's run deep. Can I leave yet? We need to talk to my uncle first. Oh, okay. All right. Well, let's go the other way. I don't like it when you know what I don't like is your character takes a step or two while she's walking towards you to enter you yeah i'm trying to get her to exit as fast as possible there's, yeah there's definitely some pursuit there that's implied yeah and it's not even trivial although to be <laughs> fair that is what it feels like that is what it feels like to be a leader isn't it yeah is it being a leader like yeah. if you've seen um finding nemo with the birds that just go mine mine mm -hmm. that's what it feels like to be a leader is like <clears throat> as leader you're the camera and all of your colleagues are the Pelicans. Shout out to the team I work yep. with every day. The Pelicans. Uncle! Is everything fine? <laughs> uh, all right. I'll, not Sid. I don't think I'll start Sid. this time. Uh, G, uh, Lee, you're next. Uh, you. Sean? E. I'll do F. N. <laughs> okay, Sean. Uh, A. Uh, I'll do F. Lee? S. <laughs> Jeff Maps. <laughs> Dude. What the snaps? Dude, yeah, that's yeah, perfect. Dude, you know? we have Lasty Butt. <laughs> What's our name? It's like Baffadax. <laughs> <laughs> no, we got goof maps. Okay, well, tune in for some goof maps. <laughs> back home, a lot has happened to the waste. It's half of our guy is already gone. We need to act fast. <laughs> well, Uncle, we've got the power of the crystal to cause blade from the Norium mines. There should be enough to defeat uh, Turkle McNurkle. Oh, and I found Pixafad. That's right. That's our name. Here to wield that sword. <laughs> Placidasax is our name. We're ready to go to the Black Citadel. Uh, yes, very well. Very well. It's good. You need to get the amulet of Gorn to enter the citadel. It's been split in two parts. First, we can, the grove. we can find the grove south of Aogai. I went there last week, and the cliff to the entrance has collapsed into the bomb. Talk to Garen, the bald card player. He's been off somewhere to give bombs. Thanks, Fat. You could seen try to find card. the bombs. We can get to the sacred grove. All right. Mighty wizard. Something, something, something. something. Writing, writing, writing. Narrative design. <laughs> writing, writing. <laughs> Words, words, words. Dude, this music is so PS1 era. Her mother had a strong will too. Good luck. I just realized that like all of what's going on here is just, it's, what is it? What would you, I mean, is it real? Is it real narrative or is it just fake narrative? Is it just yeah, it's put there to serve it's the genre format? Narrative. Yeah. Yeah. Are these real people, or are they just video games? Are they just educational tropes? Video games will Ooh. never be art. <laughs> okay, never actually. I, I was trying to quote, like, I was trying to do, like, a quote there, but instead I just said the most amazing thing I've ever said. Mm -hmm. It's all down. Also, Sean, yes. Sean P, shout out to what you said while I was watching your little WoW stream, you said, uh, optimization is a crutch and I'm not a coward. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Incredible. Hell, yeah. look for bombshells. Okay. So good. 
Dude, yeah, like, I mean, genuinely, oops. I really think it's way too easy in games like WoW to just forget that you're playing a game. Yeah. No! I, it's the that old lady, right? The what? One that you keep ignoring. Oh. Yeah, that this one? Yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna need some waypoints here. I thought it was the lady by the front. Okay, maybe. Yes, it's it's no, I think we have to beat him in a game of minigame Cardo. Oh, God, what is with that flower? I don't know what the rules are. Look at yeah, we did, we did really, really deliberately skip the whole rules section. I... You know what's sort of unnerving to me? Is that the rate at which we're unlocking new paradigms compared with the rate at which it's turning into just like a content That's experience. a good play. That was a good play. This is the game. Very well, it mirrors like the experience of growing up, you know, where like young childhood is just like more and more features unlocked. Yeah. And before you know it, you're wrapped up in the weird stories of people and you're like not even aware of, there's like not many new features. Wow. That was great. You could have played that in the other spot and it would have been worse woo, woo, woo. Okay. sweet that's key to winning sean this was not the person to talk to <laughs> no oh it wasn't no apparently Wait, not did you talk to him again no here i go because he was like you have to beat me at a game of cards in order to do bombs all right so let me oh fuck you dude so i still think there's a well nearby this what? way. Okay, all right. I just had the dumbest thought I've ever had, maybe. Which is that, you know how in World of Warcraft, people were paying people overseas to like, level up their characters level up. and shit? I, and then I thought, maybe microtransactions to purchase progress is actually just a way of saving other people overseas from having to do it for you. But you're actually, like, taking jobs from people, right? Like, isn't that another way of looking at it? Oh, yeah, microtransaction steals jobs. Here... It automates. It's here's a screen that we didn't... We failed to find. Yeah. yeah. A classic, please, on your bingo cards. Get your bingo together. We found a new screen. HD backgrounds. Can't wait for this. Ooh, very. Oh, it looks just very HD. Yeah, it looks exactly the same to me. I don't like it quite as well. Oh wait, I gotta look at the. I don't. I just don't <laughs> like the remake. Oh. Um, I just don't like what they did with I the remake. Look, I am looking at the wrong screen. Yeah, you have to look mm -hmm. at the super high res. Uh, they talk to who? But I, I like looking at the mostly walking screen. Yeah, me too. That's next to Gifnoffs. I want to see what the people see. And all this annoying walking is really par for the course in these old <laughs> games. Hey. There certainly is a lot of walking. Dragons are like golden ages. They've always just passed. Yeah. Jesus, fuck, man, this is a fucking nightmare. Dude, what happened to this game? This game was so sick. Then I was like, it okay, so long. let me actually explain why we're playing this game. There's a free game called Test, Test, Test that um, I originally was planning on streaming today because next week we are playing the amazing, highly anticipated Harold Halibut, which I will talk about in a minute. Oh, okay. Are you fuck? Thanks so fat. Went powerful spell, did you find the bombs? Apparently I did. When did you find the bombs? Great, right, let's head to the sacred grove south of here. <clears throat> there's no time to waste. So th there's this game. A test 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 that we were gonna play is a one shot, but the problem is 
Test 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 says it has arg elements where you have to like go to a web browser and type things in. And for those of you that don't know the term arg, it stands for alternate reality game. And the idea of an arg is that there's a clear blurring between the real world and the game. And so a lot of args will do things like you have to scan something with a QR code, put in your phone number, and then they text you a clue. And you have to go to a physical location in the real world to get the second clue, and so on and so on and so on. Um, so I have played digital games that say, hey, there are arg elements to it. And like what it will do is it will scan your computer for a file and use that file name or information about that file as part of the gameplay, which is totally fun and exciting and sort of ooh, if you're by yourself. But if you're on sc on stream, you can dox yourself because mm -hmm. like, this is a new computer. And all I have on this is like work yeah. stuff and tax information. <laughs> That's like yeah. all I've saved on it for the last two months. And so I was just at the last second, like, oh, oh, my God. Yeah, like inscription did straight up. All right, we have a new spell. Okay. All right. X Don't crystal. Yourself like that. that that's up there with like when you're playing a game Miss. that has just like Miss. chat going by okay. from other players, and All then right. you like get your Twitch banned, get your Twitch demonetized by saying something in the chat. Oh yeah. Also, Lee, you got way quiet. What? I don't know how. Why, how, what, when, why? All right. Are we looking for the dragon? Looking for some charter? We're looking for like an oasis or something, right? Purified says, at least with a format for YouTube, you're able to edit, redo stuff like that. Yeah, I mean, I'll be honest. It's one of those things where if it's out, it's out. It's like the first time that it leaks is the problem. Am I more better now? So much more better. I had to twiddle the settings on the microphone. I realized that this microphone I've been using for like 10 years. Yeah, I mean, mics stay, stay good for a long time. They do. They stay so good for so long. Solar Parades is the clip of Germa playing punches. Burnout and it turning his webcam on without asking is unbelievably funny. I want to see this so bad. Oh my god. God, do I want to see that? Solar Parade, if you have a if you have a link, I I really want to know. All right, we're looking for Scorched Dragon Marks. So, I'll be real. Lee Sean, we're coming up on the end of the 2 hours mm, yeah. of playing this, and mm. I feel like this has had moments of awesomeness, and then there's a lot of us just playing a middling RPG. Yeah, which yeah, yeah it, it turned it, it 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 bloomed into a wonderfully mid game. <laughs> <laughs> and what's interesting is that I think that a lot of uh, Zoomers who regularly use the language of things being mid don't know that there's a difference between being mid and being medium. Yeah, I love that. I mean, I'm loving add to it. Well, that was fucking thrilling. I'm just as pissed when I get new abilities here. Yeah, the new abilities are underwhelming. It does feel like the game has kind of lost the plot. It's like, yeah. they, it's like it kind of forgot what it was doing. Yeah, and I'm like right here. <laughs> I'm right here. Oh, this is where we fucking came from. Fuck. Well, Plus, up. um, could we get any more random encounters? <laughs> so here's here's what I'm actually gonna do. Because because I've given up, um, I'm going to kill this turkey. Yeah. No. All right. Technically, it's an epic kill. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna I'm gonna exit this game. Nice. And I'm going to show Sick. a trailer for the game that we're going to play next week, which is one of okay. my most Ooh. anticipated games. I'm super, I want to know what this is. Anticipated, even. All right. You so, know so I'm this... something of an anticipator. Yeah, I know video game. 
Okay, so here we go. What? Oh my god, that's so funny. So I, I, I hit a button that just destroyed the layout. So here's what we're gonna do. Oh. We're gonna we're gonna click over here. We're okay. not done. We're gonna exit the game. We're still walking. Okay, so I'm gonna pause this and then I'm we going to off. share this, click on Steam, yes. do this. So Ooh, Sean Lee should be able to see it now. Yes. Uh yeah. Looks fascinating. Okay, so let me let me Darling Arna. Is this Hi, my name General oh my Cinematic Trailer. When the ship crashed. Okay, Is okay, this hold on. Max? Yeah, hold on, hold on. Here we go, here we go, and Boom, there it is. Oops, oh. boom, there it is. Oh, and Baron TV raided us during our last 10 minutes. Welcome, Baron TV. You know what, you're just in time. <laughs> Amazing. To all the Baron Bears so. who are who are joining us. This is the game that we're playing next week. It is a handcrafted adventure game. As in every single element that you see is not a 3D model that was built. It is a claymation figurine that was crafted oh and Lord. scanned. And this game has been in development for like almost 10 years. I originally saw this as a Kickstarter in like 2014, 15. And I have wanted to play it since then. And I thought that it was never going to come out. I thought that it had just was DOA once the Kickstarter didn't actually hit sure. the um, threshold. But they just kept working on it, kept grinding. And it was one of the most anticipated games at the PC Gamers Most Wanted show. That they wow. did at the end of last year, and we're gonna we're gonna watch it live now. And I don't know how this is gonna work because it's the first time I've done this sort of thing. Darling Arna, when the ship crashed, I half wondered if life as we knew it would collapse in on itself as well. It seemed like the pressure of the ocean surrounding us was pressing through the ship's hull, and I wondered how I, how any of us, would find a new way to keep going on. There aren't many people I can talk to without feeling inferior. Oh, thanks. <laughs> no, I, I didn't mean like that. You yeah. just... You're not a Jimmy Judger, you know? Good animation. You seem to just yeah. accept. Hmm. I try. It could be worse. Low bro. But there must be more. Oh, look at that lighting. More to life? Whoa, look at those festivals. You got laurels, baby. Is that Dr. Computer? Dr. Computer? This opens a whole box of questions. did kind of make a mistake. We all make them, Harold. Ah! Who? What? So... We're sorry to put the burden on you, Harold. But you're the next best man for the job. I... Yes! I mean... Yeah! Yes! Let's go! <laughs> this looks amazing. Like, it looks amazing. Yeah! yeah. Holy crap. Wow. What is that thing? <laughs> Dude, right? Water animal forever. Water this animal like forever. Water animal forever. All right. This so looks really fascinating. Wow. Let me see if I can pop open another I'm one. And I'm the director and composer of Harold Halibut. Yeah. And I'm Olaf, the game's art director. Harold Halibut is a handmade narrative game about friendship and life on a city-sized spaceship stuck under sea. It's been 250 years since your home. An arc-like spaceship fled an Earth on the verge of Cold War to find a habitable planet on which to preserve the human race. You are Harold, a young lab assistant to the ship's lead scientist, Jeanne Marot. While most of the other inhabitants have reconciled themselves to a life lived aboard the sunken ship, Marot still works tirelessly to find a way to leave the planet and find a new, drier home. Of course, we don't want to spoil too much Ooh, of the story, cool. so let's dive into some gameplay details. You're able to explore a huge part of the spaceship right from the beginning of the game. Oh god, it's a mostly walking classic. While the professor yeah, will good. always have tasks waiting for you, 
the wonderfully weird rest of the Fedorans will keep you just as busy. Actually, the walls It was very important for us to not only focus on well, exciting as main story line, as the characters. but to create a world yeah. full of interesting events and meaningful encounters. The dialogues don't only help you progress in a main story, but also help you get to know more about the many characters that inhabit our world. Weaving through the narrative, you'll run into playful interactions like a repairing broken 3D printer. Your PDA is always available to you for oh an overview God. of current tasks as well as messages from other characters. This is also where Harold's personal drawings are kept, as well as a few more shenanigans. At this point, you might be wondering how we achieved the stop-motion-like look of the game. We are in fact kind building of every single thing know. you see in the game in the real world. Too much. We build sets and puppets and then 3D scan everything. We're then able to use motion capturing to create lifelike animations for a huge cast of Made characters. Made 700 million dollars of Dude, Swiss government funding. the game begins with Harold's <laughs> mundane day to day, mysterious <laughs> events and a fateful encounter will soon plunge you into a new world that nobody that could have guessed existed. And so one good. May hold lighting? The key I'm in... From a rose relaunch mm. plant. We're really excited to find out how you like being immersed in this unique world and the feeling of puppeteering. I don't Harold. think so. Maybe still some quite of a bit it of work is. To do, so all we can say right now is that Harold Halibut will come soonish on PC, PlayStation, and Xbox. And wait, how soon? Tomorrow. 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 And so we're going to be playing wow. this not today, obviously, but next Monday, as we do always. That and uh, so I am super excited about this, and I want to see if I Incredible. can actually track down the original. No, not a dev diary. Give me a break. My work here is Give done. Me a break. My work here is done. I want to see if I can actually uh, track down the Harold Halibut Kickstarter trailer. I want to see if I can actually open this. Uh, no. Wait, let me see if, because there was this really old trailer that was like super ancient. Harold Halibut trailer. <laughs> I'm now obsessed. Harold Halibut Kickstarter. Let's see if I can find this. A Handmade Adventure by Slow Bros. Uh, okay, it was originally attempted to be funded in, in... It, it shows the months, but not the year. This is a nightmare. I don't believe this. It's horrible. It's the original. Oh, God. This, I'm wasting time right now. But the important thing is that we will eventually play this game, as in, in exactly one week. That is so That's wonderful. Very and I love that for us. I know. That's awesome. Now, as a as a funny story, um, we streamed Evo Land, which we originally were going to do test, 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 but I was worried about the ARG elements, so we switched to Evo Land. And before that, Lee has been requesting Spaceship Warlock, and I found a build, downloaded it, installed it, and it was a virus. So I had to <laughs> uninstall it and clean my computer from it. Uh, big shout out to Sandboxy for helping contain the threat. Um, what a nightmare. So, no. um, so one day we will play Spaceship Warlock, but I think that the fact we'll that we'll never there. be able to do it is going to be, I think, an important thing. It will always be our little weenie that is dangling in front of us, Lee. Yeah. Dangling yeah. a little weenie. Yeah. Uh, always a dream. Ruha Gen guys, I have a, a link to the page if you couldn't find it. Yes! Ruha Gen guys, link me. Link me that shit. Because I was sitting here Googling live on air without showing what was on my screen. It was the most boring thing ever. <laughs> Gimme. Yeah. Box office poison. Okay. Kickstarter 2017. Okay, wait, hold on. The Kickstarter page. Okay, I found the Kickstarter page. I'm finding it. Is this it? Got that. Sorry, Rugen guys. This is it. You have to be this is it. This is it. This is it. This is it. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Let me. We're going to go to this thing. We're going to stop streaming. We're going to start streaming. We're going to click on this. We're going to full screen. We're going to go live. Uh, Lee and Sean, you should be able to see it now. Yeah. Do you see this? Yes. yes. Okay. So this is what I saw in 2017. <sighs> and when I saw this, I was like, I need to play this game. 
So this was 2017, which is seven years ago. 2017. That's insane. Okay. That's not possible. I'm going to, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm sending my brain back. Yeah. In time. Agent Tarlson, you got any leads yet? Well, it might be a minute, Bob, but you know you've got the best man on the job. I'll have this figured out before dinner. Dude, I can't believe 2017. Me. It's always me who has to get his hands dirty. Headquarters said to prepare for a messy crime scene, but this is textbook work out of a slasher movie. I knew I should have stayed in bed today. Harold! Stop daydreaming! And don't forget to fix the light after cleaning up the paint. Sometimes I do wonder what life would have been like on Earth. Like they, they nailed the visual style of this like so early. Yeah. Yeah, that's a lot to have at that yeah. point. Dude, handmade adventure. Hi, we are slow brothers. Wow. Yes, yeah, so this is a 2017 trailer. And like, dude, like when I first saw that, I was mesmerized by that. And like the most recent trailers that I just showed um, for this. Once they put the mocap in, it looks so much better than some of these like yeah, animations. Yeah, it's incredible. Jockety. Wow. So sick. It's really good. Oh, well, I'm very, very excited about Harold Halibut. Um, I don't know if either of you have anything else before I just literally turn the stream off, but... Hooray. No, I've... I've I'm looking forward to next week. That sounds good. Smoothed once right. again. Easy. By our wonderful show. Well, with that... Uh, do you have any Evo Land thoughts <laughs> that you haven't shared? I, I mean, I feel like I, you know I summarize sort of what my thoughts are. I think that there is a little uh, tour through history that is very interesting, mm -hmm. and the mistake was to also try to make it into a video game. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, because that fundamentally, you just they couldn't they couldn't pull that off uh, it the wasn't way that the they wanted to. For the first time ever, yeah, I mean, it wasn't. It, it was not the game. <laughs> Evo Land. I'm gonna just briefly check figures because I remember it was pretty big when it dropped. Yeah, two hundred to five hundred thousand sales. Oh my god! According to Steam Spy, which could mean that it's like hundred fifty thousand because sometimes their ranges are a little off. But even what's so, the, uh, what's the rating or the um, the yeah? What's the what's the rating? What do you call that? The user yeah. score measure. Yeah. Yeah, score. user score. Uh, let's, it looks like it's 80%. Oh my Lord. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's one of those and things where... The, how much does it cost? Uh, $10. Yeah. 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 Yeah, okay. yeah it's pretty okay. good. Yeah, yeah. it's pretty good. All right. All right. Sure. Yeah, yeah. Okay. That's on Steam? That's on Steam? I'm going to go to bed. You're all terrific. And I'll see you on Monday. Bye. Bye-bye-bye-bye-bye-bye-bye. Bye-bye-bye-bye. Bye-bye-bye-bye.